Hey y'all. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a game I've been playing a lot recently. This is Loop Hero. Uh, you'll kind of see what it's like here in a second, but it just came out, I think this like last week or whatever, and I have been just grinding away at it. This is uh, my current little thing, and you'll kind of see what I unlock at the end here. But these are my stats. Uh, you can pause if you want to take a look at them. We'll take a look at them at the end too, so you can kind of see uh, how much stuff actually does happen in a single game. I've only died once as of the beginning of this video, so that's pretty cool. I've been playing this game like every day, pretty much. Off of as soon as I get off work, these are these. This is your deck. Um, these are the cards we're going to be using. You'll see what that means in a bit here. Um, these all have different effects. Again, if you really want to look at what they do, just pause the game. But you'll kind of see what they do as we go, and I'll explain them more or less as we go. Um, I'm not really focusing too much on this game today, though. I'm kind of just... I wanted to get something out because I haven't had time to really play anything recently. I haven't been able to upload any Danganronpa. I haven't been able to, like start the other game I wanted to actually like put on my channel. Okay, so this is the game. We got uh, this loop here, and we got a little hero there. Now our hero is going to wander around this loop, and he's going to just attack everything that gets in his way. So here's a slime. We're just going to attack. Now I'm not controlling this hero at all. This is all done by the game. I can pause the game by pressing space or uh, right mouse button, and I can place things. So this is a beacon. It makes you go a little bit faster and makes you fight a little bit uh, faster as well. But it also affects enemies. This is a crystal. What that does is it doubles the effect of a day's passing on a tile. And if you take a look in the top left corner there, there's a bar that's slowly filling up. That's the day. You can speed that up. Right now we're going at uh, one time speed. And this most recent update, 1.1, actually added quite a few things, and one of them is the ability to go past two times speed. So now you can go up to four times speed. Um, before it was only one or two, and that was fine, but I kind of like the ability to really go fast. Although that is quite bad for you. <laughs> There's our first, like, actual tile that does something, other than the uh, beacons here. That is a grove. That's going to spawn rat wolves, which are some of the best enemies to fight, in my opinion. And you'll kind of see them later, because you know, we're going to be fighting tons of them, and we're going to be building a huge grove up there. But as you can see, now there's a little bit to the world. Uh, there's not just an empty loop. <laughs> there's a couple things lying around there, a couple landmarks. So that ring is going to give us vampirism, and if you take a look at our stats there in the bottom right, that will be changing all of the time. Every piece of equipment that we get is going to change our stats. If we were to put down those meadows and that rock there, that would change our stats. Just slightly, it would probably give us more health, I think. I think it would give you more health. Uh, the rocks, depending as to how close they are together. The road lantern, that's what we placed right there. What that does is it prevents, or it, it lowers the amount, the maximum amount of enemies on any specific tile. And that's not really relevant right now, but you'll see that come into relevance later on as well. That was a swamp that, that summons mosquitoes and also reverses any kind of HP effect, except for potions. <sighs> potions you get when you go to the camp. <laughs> that little tent up there in the top top left. Alright, I've explained most of the things uh, that we have available to us right now. But yeah, I've been working all the time, man. Uh, I got a second job, so I've been grinding away at that. Still grinding away at my first job, although I might have to might have to quit. Because I just cannot. And it's not that I can't do it, I'm just so worn out and I don't have any time to do anything else. So right here I'm kind of pondering uh, if that vampirism is better than the defense, and right now it is, because heal a little bit with each attack. Oh, you can see, you saw the rat wolves there for a second. They spawned. Every every day, uh, new things will spawn. Well, not necessarily. It depends on the tile. 
Someday is new, the new things will spawn. If we had spider caverns, spiders spawn every day. And so, every time you pass one of those, you have this big stockpile of spiders you have to take care of. And it's really creepy, to be honest. I don't like spiders. There we go. Got some better armor. But yeah, usually I get home from work and I just kind of play this for a little bit. This is, uh... This is just, I don't know, it's just what, I, what I've been playing, I guess, just what I've been doing. I don't have much free time anymore, so. This game is pretty short, each run is only about 30 minutes, really. Because at that point, even if you aren't, uh... After 30 minutes, even, even if you're still alive, it's, it's, it gets too hard to take an entire loop. And if you run away before you reach your camp then uh, you have a chance of losing some stuff, missing some stuff. Which I guess is fine, but why not just get everything, you know? Like, the resources in this game are pretty hard to find, so... Well, pretty hard to come by, at least. I'm trying to decide where to place that beacon. That, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I don't think the beacons overlap. The road lanterns do. If multiple road lanterns are on a tile, uh, they can it'll lower the amount of things. So that ring is just straight up better than what we have, because <laughs> we're now going to have some pure damage and some evasion, although we're losing a little bit of vampirism. Pure damage? I don't know what pure damage really is. That came in the newest update as well, and it hasn't really explained it. I assume that that is just um, a little bit of extra damage that's guaranteed per attack, um, I'm not 100% certain. Evasion, obviously, helps you evade. That Oblivion card down there in the middle, you're probably looking at that and going like, what the hell does that do? Well, that card destroys a tile or monsters. Well, if, if there are monsters on a tile, it will destroy that as well. And as you can see, the Rat Wolves are just so good because they give such good loot. Like, look at that. <laughs> I just got a, a shield that was like, three levels higher than the one I already had. That is amazing. I love fighting the rat wolves. Ooh. Lonely mountain over there. We'll have to wait until, uh, until we get another, another rock or mountain to finish that. But you'll see a thing happen up there. Because, oh, here it, here it comes. Bada bing, baby! When you, there's some, like, combinations of things that you can make. That one spawns harpies every two days. So now there's going to be a new type of enemy. These are mosquitoes. They're annoying. Look at that. What a garbage enemy. So when you place ten, ten rocks or mountains, because they're, they're essentially the same cards, although rocks are just better in general, um, a goblin, goblin hut will spawn. So now you can see the little goblin hut there. Yeah, we're just going to place that up there because we want as many rat wolves as we can get because they're not very hard to fight, although they do dodge quite a bit. Um, they have decently low HP and they just give such good loot that you just want as many as you can get. The goblins are kind of annoying because the leader, when one of them dies, the leader gets like 30% stronger for a couple moves and that is just absolutely brutal. And look at that ring. Look at that ring. It is just... Our, our class is about to change entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Now now our class is basically based on counters. <laughs> counters and dodging. And I think I think we get pretty high counter rate in this run. I can't quite remember. This was either yesterday or the day before. I'm gonna play this little graveyard there. I like the graveyards, they summon skeletons, as you might imagine. But I think they're just cool. I like I like skeletons. Skeletons are like some of my favorite enemies. Just in, in most like RPGs. I don't know why. I just really like skeletons. I think that like having an army of skeletons would be really cool. Like, yeah, they're super weak, but like you can just have a ton of them. <laughs> I don't know. I just think they're cool. I don't like them in Minecraft though. They're pretty annoying. Uh I've died many a times to a skeleton. 
Goddamn, infinite arrows. Again, just fighting rat wolves, you just get better loot. So you want as many of them as you can get. I don't know why you would ever not have groves. Those meadows will heal two health points every uh, at the beginning of every day. So they're quite useful to have up. Um, but if you have them next to a different kind of uh, I object or whatever, different ty type of tile, they will have uh, they will upgrade into gardens, which are slightly better. <laughs> it's it's just little things like that. Like that's that's really tiny, but it's it's interesting. Ooh, and we have a vampire mansion now, which adds vampires to battles, uh, and the tiles around it. So now every time that there's a fight in that graveyard, there will be a vampire, and the tile next to it little slime here. This might be the indie game of the year for me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This says this is going to be pushing me through some hard times, I have a feeling. See so yeah, I could equip that. That that's also a really good ring because it has the regen per day. But right now the counter and the evasion is just better. It's just a little bit better. Plus we have really high defense. Which is decent, but I'd rather have high, higher counter or evasion. Just a worse shield. Although it does have... That's also a new thing. You can also lock things like that. You couldn't do that before. I don't think you could do that, that before. I don't know. I've, I don't think I ever really tried, but... I know it's new now. We're going to equip this pole arm here, I think. Because uh, the damage is not that much worse. And it gives us 5 defense. Which is doing us better than the vampirism right now because the vampirism is not really doing much for us. I kind of see here that it wasn't necessarily a mistake, but like, uh, I kind of needed the damage. An interesting thing about this is because you have like a Q there, since you have like equipment, you can hold on to it and uh, yeah, I think I just equip this axe because it's just, no I don't, never mind, I lied. I do equip a new weapon pretty soon though, because this this bull arm is not the greatest in the world. So that armor will give us less max HP, but because it gives us 7 damage to all, every time we attack, now you're going to see, uh, we're going to have a damage modifier on every, every enemy, which is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. But yeah, I've been grinding. Uh, I've been kind of like, I've really been wondering recently what it's all even like worth for. Like, ooh, treasuries. Treasuries are pretty good. You'll see as I build stuff around it. They they have a certain effect as well. But I'm missing one tile, so we'll have to wait for next time <laughs> till we get that. Another rock tile. Oh well. It is what it is. We're just gonna really chrono crystal that up there because we want as many rat wolves as we can get. There's a vampire. Of course vampires have vampirism on them, so they have that kind of effect. I'm just hoping that when, by the end of this whole grind or whatever, if there ever is an end of this grind, that it's worth it and that I can go back to making videos and making art and doing things that I like doing and reading. I haven't really had even the time to read much, which is unfortunate. I haven't been able to really do anything. It's just, it's just, it wears you out, man. Like. Where's he out? There's a mimic. I don't. I don't really want to explain what a mimic does. That's a ring that's one level higher, but it's just worse. 
because why not? And that's a ring that is different, but will change our class a little bit, so. I think we add it because of the counter rate, though. Yeah, look at that counter. Bam! 19. There you go, look at that. It's already putting in work for us. There we go. And now we have an empty treasury, which will spawn gargoyles. So, new enemy, which means new thing that will try and kill us. That's not a metaphor. This whole game is just a metaphor for the real world, I think. <laughs> Things get forgotten. Time gets forgotten. You can only truly experience the world as you're currently living in it. Oh, that's such a better sword. That sword does so much more damage. But we lose out on the evasion, and the evasion's really good, so we're gonna keep our sword. Yeah, I know I know I've been scattered this video. I haven't really been able to concentrate on any one thing. But I think that's fine. I I'm not too worried about it. I mean my channel's always been kinda like scattered. I've, I've just posted whatever. I don't really have a format. I don't really have a... I try and keep schedules, but fuck, that never works. Look at Persona 4. <laughs> I'm still going to finish that game, by the way. And and Danganronpa 2, which uh, I'm going to probably record the next day I have the time. I don't really have the time to do it tonight, because I have to go to bed. And, you know, making Danganronpa videos is like two hours, because they're all super long. That's just the way it is right now, though. And we're going to equip that ring, I think, because... We're at least going to hold on to it, because three regen a second is really good. <laughs> I've gotten a ring one time that had four times regen, and that, like... That was just amazing. Four regen a second is really good. I don't know, man. I don't know if there really is a reason for me to grind so hard. I don't know what it's really all worth. I mean, yeah, I have a little bit more money in my bank account, but I don't really have the time to spend it. Which I guess is good. I, I, I don't really... I don't have the money to spend. <laughs> I need to be stringent, but... I need to be... Not stringent, I need to be... Oh, what's the word? Not cheap. Whatever. I need to just look after my money. I need to be able to not spend money. But at the same time, I don't I don't know if working as hard as I am is necessarily good for me. I think it's fine for now though. I think for now I can do this for a month or two. I'm gonna not be able to make many videos, but I think just really grinding it out is, is gonna be good. It really puts other things into perspective, like, when you work all the time and you don't have any time to yourself, like, it really puts into perspective how you use your free time and what your free time really means to you. Because I get maybe an hour or two a night and then maybe an hour or two before work. If I cut back on sleeping, which I have been doing, uh, because it's the only way I can really do anything, I guess. It's the only way I can really function. It's hard to... It's, first off, it's hard to sleep, but when I do sleep, I don't really sleep very well, so... I just wake up, try and have coffee if I can. Some Like this morning, I, I had about 30 minutes before I had to get in the shower and then go to work. So I basically got some coffee and watched like... watched half of the first... the last episode of um, High School of the Elite. Which is an interesting anime that I might, I might do something similar to a compare and contrast of that, because uh, people like to compare Kikigaya Hachiman to 
the main character of High School of the Elite. But I don't necessarily see the... Uh, I don't... I guess I can understand why people would make the comparison. But I think they're very vastly, vastly different. I don't... I don't know, I've been thinking about characters like that. There are a couple of characters that I kind of want to do a compare and contrast kind of thing for. I've never really done a compare and contrast, though, uh, for something like that. So I don't really know what I'm going to use for metrics at all. Maybe uh, something like philosophy, I guess, because that's mostly what the characters are about. But we died. We were killed. It's unfortunate. These are our stats. Things happen. Oh well. Sometimes you die. In video games. I mean, I hope you don't die in real life. But we have a new title to unlock. The Refuge. Which unlocks a new class. Uh, there are exiles in Exile Hero. Don't go too hard on the lost souls you found respite in wine and gambling. Why don't you take a seat for yourself? But I'm not here for the... That's strange, this place, this style, it all seems familiar. Now you're talking. So you found living on the road. Bit of robbery, huh? Yeah, I, I went through this a little bit too quick. <laughs> oh well, whatever, it's fine. Basically, in this build section, you can get some tiles, you place them down, and you get some new things. Although this is the first time I've gotten a new class. Um, I'm going to kind of leave how, what things you get up to your discretion. I'm not going to explain everything, because you should buy this game. Uh, and you should play it for yourself. Because it's really good. It's very nice to look at. And the music is really fun to listen to and uh, the gameplay is enjoyable. There's a lot to focus on, even if... Uh, <laughs> it's weird, because you're focusing on the combat, but you're not really paying attention to, to the actual combat, you're paying attention to numbers the entire time. So it's kind of weird um, in that way. But this has been Loop Hero. Um, overall, yeah, I think you should play this game. I think this game is really good. I hope you have enjoyed watching this. I know I've been very off topic and bouncing around between thoughts because I, I just haven't really been able to stick to any one thought. I haven't really had the time, I guess, to sit down and really just think about things. I haven't really had anything to think about. I've just been working all the time. It's I base my <laughs> all my thoughts revolve around what time do I get up for work? Okay, I have to go to work by this time. So I need to be awake by this time, which means I need to sleep before whatever arbitrary time. <laughs> which means uh, I can only do this or whatever before I go to bed. So I I've been just scheduling, and I all I can think about is my schedule, and it's like... It's depressing to think about, and it's, it's disheartening to look at. But in the end... I just, I, I think it, it'll be worth keeping for a while. I think just working hard and just putting your nose to the grindstone is just the way to go. I, I don't really have any other things going on right now in my life, so it's like... And that's not necessarily something that I'm... I'm open to, to being involved in things, and I'm open to going out and, and doing things in the real world. But I don't have really the time, and even if I did have the time, I don't necessarily have the opportunity. Like, I'm not... It's weird. I, I don't... I don't know. Because I live in a place that I, I wasn't raised in, it's... It's really... It's weird. Anyway. Um, that was kind of depressing, but whatever. Um, this has been Loop Hero. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, I hope you buy this game, or whatever. I'm going to be using it probably in my future videos, because I'm going to be playing it a lot. 
I bought another game alongside it that I have been playing Hella as well, and I will be probably playing through that entire game at some point on this channel because um, it's not that long of a game, and uh, it's had my full attention. <laughs> when I haven't been playing Loop Hero, I've been playing that. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.